Hello everyone, so I am here because I need to do this tutorial on how to do Skyster replacement and I will be showing you how to do that today. Um, I know that I've been saying that I'm going to do it for a long time but honestly like I have been very busy and today is the day where I'm going to get to do it. Awesome. Um, so let's get started. This is the image that we are going to edit. Um, so we're going to use those skies. Um, well, this is the final look from the image, but this is the original image. I know, not even close, huh? So we're going to get started, and I'm not going to show you on how to take, um, how to take the, um, you know, clone the sand or anything like that. I'm just going to show you what the sky replacement will be and how I get my final edit. So normally I start with, um, Lightroom, just so that I can get the shadows, and then honestly, it's so easy, especially you know starting here. Um, let me get as close as I can to her so that I know what I'm doing. Okay, maybe not that much. Sixty. Yeah, that's that should be fine. Okay. Perfect. So from here, we know that the sun is on the back. So um, the sky overlay that you choose, you can either double it or just use um, one where you took the sky right in the middle. So we're going to go ahead and export this to Photoshop. And by doing that, we're going to click Command E. Command E is going to send us um, back to Photoshop. Let's see if it does it here real quick. Perfect. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and um, match up ice horizon. This is um, very tilted right now, so we're going to go ahead and um, make it look good. And I'm assuming you guys already know how to do this, so I'm now going to go over this. If you guys have any questions on how to do that, let me know. But there you go. Perfect. So that's the image that we're going to start working with. So before I do anything, I'm going to add exposure to her body, her skin tone. Um, that's one of the first things I do. So we're going to go ahead and duplicate the layer. And again, I'm not going to explain this real quick. Um, I, I'm just going to assume that you all know how to do this. I'm doing it really quick. So don't judge me all right let's say all right maybe bring that down to 90 percent mm, 80 is better okay yes that's better okay alrighty so here we go um, so you choose the sky overlay that you're gonna want and in this case we chose this one for here and from here, we're going to go to this panel right here in the corner. And we're going to click Multiply. There you go. So once you hit Multiply, you're able to move this wherever you want. In this case, the sun is going to be right behind her. So we are going to put this sun up here. You also want to match your water with the actual water. Just put a little bit lower if you can. There you go. We're going to go ahead and click. We're going to drop this down to maybe yeah, 70 to like 80%. That way it doesn't look so intense. So from here, we're actually going to double the image. So we're going to go ahead and click Duplicate Layer. Control T. And then I'm going to bring this to this side. Again, um, it's just by preference how you do this. Um, and then I'm just going to go ahead and place it like that. And I know you can see all of this. I know that. Um, but I'm going to teach you a trick on how to get rid of that. So we're going to go ahead and then just merge. Not merge, sorry. We're going to go ahead and... Um, Add a um, a mask. Yes, we're adding a mask. 
and then command I, and then you're gonna do the same thing for the other one. Command I, because we are gonna paint. So you're gonna grab your paintbrush, and then you're gonna come all the way to the opacity to 50 and 50%. What you're going to do is you're going to start at the bottom because the bottom is going to be obviously a lot lighter than the top. So the closest to the water, we're going to go ahead and add that right there. You can just go with it once or twice. It's up to you. Oh, we're just doing it on the first one, so you need to come to the second one as well and then we're gonna go ahead and do that on the second one we'll do the second one first so just remember you have the Sun behind her um, you can go a little bit on like close to her but not so close you see how you're starting to get that where you can see the other um, this other layout it's okay, don't worry. We're going to fix it. So after you do this, just go ahead and then do the whole 50, 50. So there you go. There's your first placement. After you do this, you're going to go ahead and grab your... Uh, you're going to come up to your opacity and then just do the 100%. And make sure it's a little bit bigger, maybe about this much. You're going to start from the top. Obviously, I'm using two layers, so it'll be... So there you go, something like this. We need to do it the other side now. And then, there you go. Kind of do it equally, almost. Okay, so after we have done that, I'm gonna go ahead and merge everything together. I know, there's still line is still here. So after I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and use this patch tool right here in the corner that's what I normally use um, everybody's different so it just all depends um, and we're gonna be very careful here I'm gonna drag up here and then get this to the left or right whichever one you prefer same here and there you go you don't have that line in the middle and then we have the sun here peeking out. We're going to do the same thing, just back it up a little. And then we're going to add it, all, just drag it to the side. And that's just how I do the, um, that's just how I, I do this part. And I don't know if you guys can still see it, but it might be my laptop that has this, like weird things. Yeah, it's my laptop. Okay. So there's the beginning. Uh, we're going to go ahead now and take, let me just take this guy real quick. And I do the same thing. I use this. Um, but there's obviously different options that you can use. Uh, it looks a little funky. OK, well, we're doing focusing on sky, so that's not really that important right now. So there you have it. Um, we, you have your sky replacement. Now from here, we are going to go ahead and... Hold on a second. I am going to... Okay. Um, coloring. We're going to go ahead and put all the colors together. I know that her hair right here is like shining through and it looks awkward. I'm not going to go through that right now. Like I said, we're just going to do sky replacement. So from here, we're going to go ahead and go to our color balance. And then I kind of want the image to be a little bit more red. And then also yellow. So about there. And this is on your midtone. So once you open it, it's going to be on your midtone. So you're going to have to click here, go on your highlights. And then your highlights, you're also going to bring up the reds a little. And then also the yellows. There you go. See that? Before and after. Neat. Okay. So from here, um, we are going to, um, after I do this, I tend to just bring up the darks, the blacks and whites. So you're going to go ahead and click 
What are your curves? Click on this button and then bring down your darks and then bring up your whites and then look what it does. Four and after. It's almost like it sharpens the colors. Four and after. It makes your image pop a lot more. So from here we're just going to merge again. So there you have, you know, like a settled look. Um, you can come up here to your selective color and then you come all the way to your blacks. And then this is all to like your own preference. You can um, either bring up your black so she has kind of like that hazy look or, um, you know, bring up your blacks to make it to make them see your blacks to make your blacks pop a lot more. So this is all to, they're all for different images, so don't worry about this on mine because your image might be completely different than what I'm doing. All right, and then white, right there. All right, let me show you the before and after, before and after, before and after. Sweet, all right. Merge together again, and then from here, I'm gonna send this image to back to Lightroom. So we're gonna go ahead and save. And let me tell you guys something, when you guys are doing this, um, you can either leave it like this because I don't see no problem with this, we can turn it in like this. But um, if you do use a preset, I would suggest using it on top of what you've already worked on. That way it acts kinda like a different effect. So for me, I use Vesco Film. Um, not this. Um, Vesco Film is right here oh I'm sorry I sent it to Lightroom so here's the Lightroom image so from here we're gonna go ahead and um, use the the Lightroom presets that you know I normally use or whatever um, so this is optional this is for you if you don't have it that's fine stick to that step but this is how I add kinda like my look so from here, we're going to go ahead and take some of that um, gradient off because it's way too much. And then we're also going to take a little bit off of those oranges because they're so, too much. There you go. Let me add the brightness. There you go. All right, perfect. And then the last thing I do is um, sharpening. I bring that a lot up and then I bring the noise. This kind of adds like a soft effect. And I bring my coloring all the way up, maybe to like 80. Let me see how that looks now. Perfect. I'm trying to get that like. There you go. Beautiful. All right, guys. Well, that's it. That's pretty much what I do. Thank you guys so much for watching, and um, I hope this helps you guys. And, yep, have fun. Um, and tag me in your pictures. Show me your comments, whatever it is. That way I can go ahead and um, see the results. Um, have a good day, and I will talk to you guys later.